Hi, I'm the Barbecue Butcher. Today, I'm going to be butchering a whole lamb forequarter into different cuts. I'm going to be taking off the neck here, and then I'm going to show you two different ways of taking off the shanks. And then I'll be making some boneless roasts and two scotch fillets tied together roast, which is one of my favorite. So first, we'll start with the lamb neck. Um, I'm just going to take it into hunks three and go from that yeah. so, just, you can do these any thickness you want One. two lucky last Just when you're coming to the end of the bone, you'll hear it change. Just stop sawing. Take these off. I'll deal with those later. Okay, first part is stand the, the lamb shoulder up like that, so the back is facing that, and the shanks are facing you. Get your knife and you can see the colour from the bone or the breastbone. Just go in there, peel it back, little nicks with your knife. Really easy these ones. Now using this elbow pointing in there so you get leverage against the meat and you just slowly guide your knife down the rib plates and just Slowly push it like that. When you get down here, just take your time. And then this is where the scotch or the neck fillet is, which is one of my favorite cuts. Keep on coming. And this part here, that's the neck. You can't cut through that. Come down there, done. I'm gonna do the opposite on the other side now. Again, just be careful. The opposite side because it goes into you and you don't want to hurt yourself. And push it open. Remember always look for the seams of the meat. And here you go. Then from that, that, that next cut, spin it around like how I'm doing there. And follow down the neck. Again, here's the neck and it'll just all open up as you've just seen and here's a little trick turn it that way to scoop it all out and just run your knife down like that there's one shoulder it's the same with the other one so it's just that okay so the first little roast we're going to make is the neck fillet, but I leave this part of the meat on here as well. But first, you always got to take out the paddy whack. This stuff is very tough. It won't cook, so you want to take that out of your roast. Most important. And then, so you'll see here, see how it goes red, white, red? Just nick there, and you'll see the seam. See how I've picked up the seam of the meat? before it comes to another piece under there. Just slowly go and you'll see the silver skin there. Yep. And just keep on going down. Down. And that'll come off. There's one. So we'll save that and I'll show what we'll do with that later. And then there's still heaps of meat on these. And then if you come here, there's a ball joint here. Just nick it there, and you'll see the bone. See how I went in with my knife like that? Turn it like that, and just follow your knife down the bone. And then you've got, and then you've got the shoulder blade. With your tip of your knife, follow it around, but not too far down so you cut through the fat layer. And then there's the little ball joint there. Bit of a go in. And around, and around, and stand it up. 
and that'll release all the meat off there. And you put your hand on the ball joint, hand on the shoulder, and just pull it. And pull, and that'll come out, just like that. So there's one part of it. Now, to take the shank off, there's two ways to do this. I'll show you the, the old-fashioned way, which is uh, you're not slashing in any of the meat. So you go, that's his elbow. You can see me tapping on it. Spin it around. And with your knife, just push the meat back as I'm doing there so you can see the bone. And then this is, and then you want to cut the ball joint, which is here. So do a little cut there and there to open up the leg. And then again, open up the leg. And all we're doing is just going around that ball joint to open it up. Clean all the meat and all the here's a tendon. You want to cut him off, and you get it like this. Just roll it, and twist it, and it comes out perfectly clean. And then you have one big solid boneless piece of meat. And the last trimming on it you do is in this corner. There's the breast fat. Sometimes it has a little gland in it. See, everyone has a gland. Don't worry, worry if you see it. You can't die, um, it's fine. You can cook it in there, but I just take it out because sometimes it's a bit bitter. Put that over there. So, just trim a bit of this off. It's got a bit of blood still on it. I don't like it. And, so, and then roll this up like that. And we're going to make a little roast. So, you can trim the ends up to make it a bit square. You can use that for. Off cut, so roll that up like that. And remember in one of my other videos on how to tie a butcher's knot, I'll show you again. Up, and then this finger under, through. Makes a knot. I make it look really easy. People on other videos have said I make it look really easy. I've done it many times, so that's why it looks easy, but we'll practice. We'll do it again. Through, up, and then we'll get this finger like that. This one around. Hold it. I muddled myself up then. <laughs> Through, there we go. And I just, I just put three strings one way and then the other way. And that'll tie it together for a boneless shoulder roast. That you, I'll do this one in the oven um, or a slow cook. I'm gonna do a slow cook over charcoal. Great. And then and this. And when you do your knots, you always want to get them all in line like that. That's what you aim for. So when you cook this. Cut that string off, and then you just carve it like that. Very, very easy to carve that way. Okay. The next one is, I'm gonna do that whole process again, but we're not gonna make the roast. We're gonna make it flat, so then we can slow cook it on the barbecue. So you see me take the seams before. Again, let's do that again. And there's the other piece of saw skin. When you hit that, that's when you you know you're doing good. Just keep it coming up there. Like that. And then again, this is another way that you don't have to tunnel bone it. How you saw me pull it out like that to do that style. You just go straight through the joint. Get your saw and go straight through. This is and just slow down at the end when you're getting through the bone so you don't tear into the meat. This is probably the easiest way to do it than that way, but it's, it's all, all up to you if you, you want to have a practice. Now we'll trim this 
piece of fat off. This come down. I'm doing this this way to show you that so there's your shoulder blade again. You want to come back over here. Again, run your knife down there. Look for that ball joint. Remember the tip of your knife when you found it. Click, scoop. There's that shoulder blade out. And this time, as you saw, we did the cut with this one compared to that one. So now we've got to take out that bone, which is really easy. It's just a, what we call a slash bone. Put your knife in on that angle against the bone and just follow it through and it'll cut. There you go. Have a look there. Perfect. There's the bone that you want. Now. And just slowly roll. See how I'm rolling the meat out? Roll it out. Done. And then again, take out the fat on the corner. Because you want to see, there's perfect. I've cut the gland so you can see the gland. Just scoop it out. It's in every four quarter of lamb. And then we're going to square these up a little bit. And then this part here, we're gonna, it's like a it's like a triangle like that. So we're gonna cut it in half so it flaps. So we go from this side and we're trying to make it straight. So it's even. See now that's all even, pretty much the even height. You can leave that piece on there, come off there. And that part there will go directly on uh, your slow cooked barbecues, put some glazes over it and then you just put it down, fat side, and then turn it over. Alrighty, and the last two cuts, which is one of my favorite lamb roasts, is two whole lamb neck fillets. And remember to, both neck fillets will have paddy whack on them, take them out. And we're going to tie these so you get them top and tail like that. Put the meat under there and the meat under there. Turn it over. And we're just going to, again, same concept as this roast, but this is the better quality meat. This is Scotch fillet or ribeye of the lamb. Again, yeah, just do, do three, one. And remember, I've got another video on how to tie a butcher's knot. It's a lot slower speed, so you can practice. And one more. And if you've got any other butchery cuts or products you'd like me to cut or bone, remember to send me a message. This goes out to, to Dave from Boston. He wanted to see how to bone out a lamb four quarter when he was going out hunting. So this is for him. If you've got other cuts um, for venison or goat or anything, let me know and um, I'd love to show you, show you how to do it. So I'll go through all the cuts again of what we've got. So you've got your shanks. Scotch fillet roast, the normal four quarter roast, and this is the butterfly lamb four quarter roast. And remember to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you've got any questions, send them through to me. I'd love to stay in contact with you all. Thanks a lot.